I don't go back. Because if I left your ass, that's what's for. What about the dudes that left you? Ain't nobody ever leave me. He might have thought he no was going to No one ever left no. you. No. Besides the one who died. And he still be coming back in my dreams talking to me. Have you been fucked by a ghost? I might have because I'd be wet. And sometimes I'd be like, why is the little like something been down there? And I know I ain't fucked in months, you know? I think you've been fucked by a ghost. I wonder which nigga because other hood niggas I talked to done died. Hold on. <laughs> Like, I know, right? Life is crazy. How many how many guys have you been sexually involved with that died? Oh, I only have two bodies. I forgot. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me pour some more of this drink. <laughs> Let me do that. What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not X, Y, and today I have a great one for y'all because we are joined by content creator and aspiring <laughs> actress, the one and only That Damn Pretty. That Damn you didn't ask me how I wanted the intro. I could have wrote you a re a intro. What what um name do you want me to say for that? No, it's that damn pretty. Yeah, that damn that's pretty? me. Yeah, right, I'm that, 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 that damn pretty. There we go. Let them know. Even I was when I'm say. introducing myself to old people, I'm be like, I'm that damn pretty. They be like, Yeah, well, yeah. Well, well, listen. Here's how we going to do this thing. <laughs> Fuck it. Rewind. No, you did. No, no, no. no, no I know no. I did. I know I did. <laughs> I like I, it. I know I did. I know. I know. I know. But I like I'm it. doing this for me. I want to see your aspiring actress skills. So this no, is what we about to do. I don't to. There's your camera. <laughs> no. You're gonna shoot your own intro. Go ahead. I'm trying Why are you to... trying to put me on spot? What you think acting is like? Because I remember I told you I could be mysterious. I could have just put that on there. What aspiring actress? Yeah, and I really don't want to be one. Yes, you do. How you know? You mentioned it like ten minutes ago. No, I didn't. Yes, exactly. Did. Yes, He's did. putting stuff in my work. Well, let's start here with the name. That damn pretty. That damn pretty. Where'd you get the name from? Besides, of course, the fact that you are very pretty, where did you get the name from? So my name is Lexi, right? Mm -hmm. So I used to call myself Sexy Lexi. Okay. And my mama, she's an older mama. She yeah. was like, you will not be using sexy. Yeah. You can be pretty. So okay. I started being Pretty Lex. Mm -hmm. And then I got older and I'm like, Pretty Lex was somebody like a young mm -hmm. in the streets. Like I'm I, more sophisticated yeah. now. So... I had to drop the legs mm -hmm. and I just took pretty. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I'm pretty. And then I had changed my Instagram name. I was like, I need something that's really going to pop. Mm -hmm. Like, and I was like, damn, I was looking in the mirror one day. I was like, damn, I'm pretty. I was like, Oh, that's what I'm gonna do it. So I put damn, I'm pretty. And I think something like that was messed up. So I was like, Damn, you that damn pretty. So mm. I've been going by it since. So, okay, yeah. I get it. Oh, so it's like someone say like, damn, you that damn pretty. That for damn real? pretty. Oh, okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah, so nice. What you thought I was just saying? That damn pretty. Like she doing something crazy? No. Yeah. That damn pretty. Because yeah. I'm really like fucking pretty. That damn pretty. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you are. I'm pretty. Um, With no makeup but lip gloss. Right now. And some eyelashes on. Yes. Okay. You can, yes, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, nothing. Yeah. Oh, That's all right. cocoa butter. Oh, all right, cocoa butter. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> no, I'm for real. This you is know, no you, makeup. You want to know something I like on you? I like your face tat. Thank you. That cheek. was like really, that was really. Really what? That was really like real rock star and yeah. that damn pretty that makes me. Oh, yeah. That's definitely like yeah. the staple of your brand. So I had a um I had it pierced. Mm -hmm. It fell out. I got it re-pierced. Mm -hmm. It fell out. And then the girl was like, my little skin was just hanging. Mm -hmm. It had healed. She was like, you gonna really do it again? I'm like, yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. That was cute. When that fell out, I was like, nah, I ain't gonna do nothing. So then I kept looking at it. I'm like, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. So one day I got a little drunk and I was at home listening to music and I'm like, I want to get some tattoos. So I went and looked at my my photo booth to see, I mean, my photo album to see, like, what tattoos I had put. I texted the tattoo artist at um, Tattoos and Booze. It was like, do you have, like, availability? He was like, yeah, come in. Mm -hmm. And I got this, a neck tattoo, a hand tattoo, mm -hmm. and, oh, another arm tattoo. It's a bad girl symbol. You got them all at the same... At the same time. He had to stop this one because I was, like, bleeding, and he was like, was you drinking? I was like... 
No, <laughs> but I knew were. I haven't drinking before. Yeah. That's what had me the courage to go up there. Yeah, you should never be drunk when you get a scary. tattoo because you'll bleed more because it thins out your blood. I didn't know that shit. Yeah, and you should not. You shouldn't be high or drunk when you get a tattoo, contrary to popular belief. What's the one on your neck? Right here, it's a cross. Mm -hmm. And for those that's listening, the one on her face is a heart. Yeah, it's like a small pink heart on her left cheek. Red. Red. Yeah. All right, the cross on your the neck. Cross. What's uh what's the trust guy on my hand? What's the meaning behind my the cross right on your hand? Neck? Because I wanted to have the cross on me in case the cross ever came off of me. Mm -hmm. I always have it on me. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good spot. He with right. me all the time. And then trust God, because sometimes I'm always I'm doing shit. I'm like, I done ask God to do it, help me with it. And then I I'm like, oh, it ain't happening, so I'm mad. Mm -hmm. So I got this to be like, I always trust God because then I be mad at myself when it happened. I'm like, damn, you just got mad and the shit was about to happen. Yeah, I have a um, scripture taped down to my desk. I'm really upset that I can't remember or neither oh. did I take a picture of it. But it's basically like, you know, God won't, he won't, you know, lead you wrong. He'll mm -hmm. lead you to, you know, what you're asking for. It just may not be the path you're looking for, but the destination will be... Grand. All right, the one on your uh, shoulder blade. <laughs> I got that. So I was in 12th grade, and everybody had tattoos but me. My mama would not have it. Yeah. So on senior skip day, my mama let me drive the car. And while my I took my friends to go eat, I went and got tattoos. Mm -hmm. And then so y'all, what's so crazy, on graduation day, it was hot as shit. Mm -hmm. And I had makeup and was wearing my long sleeve robe because mm -hmm. I didn't want my mama yeah. to know. So I'm like, mama, I have something I want to tell you. She like, it better not be you got a tattoo. So Damn. I ain't tell her. So I was hot on my graduation day with a robe on yeah. all fucking day. Hot as shit. Yeah, because my outfit showed. Yeah, it showed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you had to cover it up. Yeah. Would you get a dude's name tatted? I the fuck? <laughs> I mean, well, I, maybe if he making like a bunch of billion dollars, yeah. So it has something to do with the money and not the way he makes you feel? Yeah, well, money makes me feel good. Is that in all aspects? Is that how you approach dating today? Um. Yes, you have to have money to date me. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. So what does, <laughs> what's the correlation? You're pretty and they have And to I have... like things. Things uh -huh. cost money. If you can't buy things... I'm going to have attitude. What if someone's an asshole, but they have money? And I'm going to be an ass. I match energy. When they go low, I go And I for an lower. eye leaves the world blind. Why match their energy? Why not just... I go to hell. You, you were, Didn't you say you were a southern, a, a pretty southern belle Yeah, earlier? southern pretty. bells. We also go the south. Uh-huh. We the ones that came under the railroad, so we go low like that. Oh, I know all about it. Yeah. And, uh, Harriet Tubman <laughs> is my great ancestor. What? Yeah, she from Cam oh she from God. Cambridge, Maryland. Shout out to Cambridge. Shout out to everybody oh on the Eastern God. Shore. Yeah, she from Cambridge. That's my peoples. Oh my God! So if you got it, I got it. I can match energies too. But oh, people, why you want to do that? That's the thing. I don't. I used to, but you, you don't want to. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't let people influence your energy. So basically, you're saying if someone is an asshole, but they have money, you can get with them as opposed to someone who treats you good but doesn't have money. Which one are you yes, choosing? Yes, because I'm gonna be. We're gonna be arguing because you can't give me stuff. Like, I was kind of brought up getting the things that I want, and mm -hmm. I'm also able to get those things that I want. So mm -hmm. why would I be with somebody who's not going to enhance it? Because so then I could be saving my money. So you wouldn't put any money towards anything is what you're saying? Yes, I would. But a man is supposed to provide. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Can't wait to see these comments. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I agree. A man Thank is supposed you. to provide. Yes. What y'all? What you? What, so what are we supposed to do? I guess like clean the house, cook, well, the, and be available to have sex and suck it and all that. Yes, uh -huh. but I mean, you want me pay for a little bill here and there, but you thinking I'm supposed to pay for something? Well, it depends. First off, it depends on the agreements between the couple. I don't think it's just one law: the man pays everything, the woman cooks and cleans and fucks whenever the dude nuts is full. If that's what it comes to, cool. That's usually for like dudes that can truly afford it. Like if you making, if you really well off. But I mean, if you if you making what the average is probably like what fifty thousand. Wow, and if you making that, and both parties are making that, then fifty thousand can't support a full family afford a whole way through covering top to bottom y'all gonna meet in the middle somewhere okay then yeah so what i'm saying it depends on the agreements of the you know what i'm saying of the couple or of the um 
yeah, the couple, whatever may have you. But it it just it just depends. But anyway, we're gonna get to that. Um like we said earlier when I said the aspiring actress, you said you really could not be. It could just be a front. You mm-hmm. said you kind of put out what people want to see or want to hear. No, what I what I want y'all to know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think people be thinking they know me. You don't know me. Yeah. You may know me at 9.45 on September the 3rd, but 9.48, I might be somebody totally different. So I... Are you a Gemini? What's, what's that? <laughs> what's, no. Yeah. I'm a Cancer. Lord. Yes. All right. Um, <laughs> well, since you said that, part of my objective today is to kind of figure out who is that damn pretty. That damn Oh, my God. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure this shit. I'm trying to unravel some shit on here. Yeah, we'll see. Serious girl. We'll see. And I'm 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 good at mysteries. I'm the type of dude. What's that shit? The uh uh the room. Escape rooms. Mm-hmm. I'm good at those. I'm what, good at putting shit what, together. Who was that artist that said never trust a big butt and a smile? That girl. New edition. Poison. They were talking about you? I'm one of them because it's a bunch of us. I know. Yeah, it's, it's a bunch of it's badass. Ma- it's majority. Sexy ass. Mysterious girl. It's majority. Well, I mean, the ones you just... If you're saying you're the girl from Poison, then it's not a mystery. No, I mean, we a are mystery. mystery. It, You'll never know you're a that mis- we're Poison. You're a mystery to the naive. You, no, no. No, you'll never know. I, listen, I'm Inspector you might, Gadget. You might come to me and I, can, I might treat you like a king and I can you think smell that I'm going to be from a, a mile good... away. No. I got one of them carbon monoxide detectors. Other, other people can't sense it because it has no smell and no taste and no sight. Mm-hmm. But I got that detector. I can you sense can't. poison. So am I poison? You just told on yourself. No, but do you do you believe that? Remember, I just said I like to put people in a guessing game. Do I think that you're poison? No, I don't. But I am. I'm a fucking snake. The yeah. venomous one. Yeah. The ones that the animal planet don't even want to fuck y'all. with. Look, y'all. What I just say? <laughs> Did I say I have a detector? <laughs> I said no, you're not, because I knew you would try to prove me wrong. <laughs> no, you did. This shit is too easy. No, you did. This Come shit on. is too easy. I, they I, always trying to justify her. Maryland I'm, people, I'm, the DMV can never be wrong. They come back with Maryland. a comeback. Nah, I, pro- I definitely admit if I'm wrong. <laughs> I definitely admit if I'm wrong. But a lot of people like to prove that they're right. But anyway, <laughs> um, here's how we're going to do this, y'all. So as I said, she's a content creator, that damn pretty. Um, I'm going to put her IG handles on everything. Her Ooh. IG, she has a lot of content, a good skits, providing good info and entertainment. Oh. You yeah. actually like took the time to look at it. Yeah, I do my research. I, I was have trying to. to be intentional with yeah. everything I fucking put out. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. I could tell you take time with it yeah. as far as the shooting and the editing. So with that being said, y'all, how we're gonna do this today is me and Pretty, we both got like some stuff that we're gonna shoot at each other. She has some topics mm-hmm. and some points that she wants to get off from a male's perspective, and then me, vice versa, I'm gonna get from a woman's perspective. So it's kind of gonna be like a back and forth. It's not just gonna be me laying everything out for her, but we're gonna have some, we're gonna have a good time with it nonetheless. So I'm gonna start shit off. Speaking of your content, one of uh, your most popular content pieces of content, one that I really <laughs> like, is your spend the night bag. Oh my god. <laughs> Which I'll let you just give. I don't want you to go through it top to bottom. Just tell them real quick what that skit was about. Um, <laughs> that's a real life spin a night bag that I would have. Mm-hmm. And it's not a real bag, ladies. It's a fucking purse that's big enough to put yeah, big your shit. shit in there yeah. to be inconspicuous that you aren't. When you see, when people see you walking with that man, that you're not about to be a slut. <laughs> yeah, the walk, the, the walk of shame. No. Mm-mm, we don't do no walk of shame. You said you don't want to get caught with the walk of shame. That's no, what you're saying. you know when you walking in the into the place with him, so you yeah. with the man, uh-huh. so you can't look like you are but if, a, if, one of them. But if just they fuck if they girls. see the bag, then I mean they know no, what time exactly. It is. But it's a purse. That's oh. why I said, ladies, get you a big purse. Yeah, they think that's just your accessory. No, but the outfit, niggas, yes, niggas know no. what the bag is because no, it's a big ass bag. Because you have to put you have to put drawers in it. You gotta put whatever you know. What I'm saying no, your soap you don't. And lotions. You don't. No, you take a shower and do all that before you leave. Okay. But so the, I had the washcloth, so I do, yeah, I'm going to mm-hmm. use your towel, and I got a washcloth. Let me ask you first and foremost, one of your ingredients was <laughs> hydrogen peroxide. And you said, ladies, <laughs> if you know, you know. Obviously, I don't know, but yeah. I'm very intrigued. What's the hydrogen, <laughs> hydrogen peroxide for? I love when people ask me this, yeah. because the hydrogen peroxide is if you intend on, like, kissing or, um, like, giving him head to mm-hmm. go ahead and kind of sterilize your mouth in case you don't bit your lip or something. So your mouth won't, if he has something, like, I don't know, 
bacteria, just in general, it won't get in your mouth. So just sterilizing it. And if I'm going to kiss you, too. So hold on. If it gets to a point where you have to <laughs> sterilize your mouth after kissing a guy or giving a head, maybe... That's why I don't kiss. I'm not really a big kisser. You're not a kisser? So are you the, So let me ask you this. Since I don't you know said if you've that. been eating no girl vagina. So you can have sex with a dude without kissing? Yes. You prefer it, it sounds like. And I don't really be doing that head stuff like that. You got to be special. This I know you don't because you just said that head stuff. So I know you don't. Oh, but when I, I get down, though, don't. All right. What you want me to show you on, on the camera? Sure, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that camera right there. Listen, I got, a, I, I got some. I got uh, what I got downstairs. I got a banana. <laughs> I got a banana downstairs. Okay, go get the banana. <laughs> you are bluffing. Because if I go and get the banana, I'm going to be sick. Um, I will do it. For real? Content creator. You really want to go get a banana and you practice If you want to get it, go get it. He's, you for he's real? going to get the banana. Yeah. All right. You he said, yes, yeah, show us. <laughs> I'm about to show y'all. But I need something to get it wet. <laughs> Wait, you want a banana? <laughs> oh, I can self get myself wet. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So all y'all gonna wait for the banana. This shit crazy as hell. A few inches later. All right, y'all. She's unpeeling the banana. If y'all are listening, <laughs> tune in to YouTube. Tune in to YouTube today by day. Hey, Steph. Hey, girl. She's the reason I'm on here. What up, Steph? Let's go. <laughs> Why'd you break it off? No one eats the tip. I mean, you're not about to eat the Come banana. on, do we really eat the tip? I mean, we weren't about to eat the banana, but all right. Yeah. So with me, mm -hmm. go ahead, break. Yeah, break everything down. Yeah. Like if it's a if it's a young lady out there who <laughs> doesn't give the best head and then she wants to please her man, like just you she know, she needs to be over eighteen and graduated. Of course, I mean over twenty one. Don't don't suck dick in high school because they experiment with everybody. That's when you're gonna catch something. And do you really want an STD before you twenty? That's crazy. I ooh. If no I comment. had to get one, I want to get one in the 70s when I'm about to die. Uh, it probably lingers around longer by then. But anyway. Okay. So with a, it's right here, right? Mm -hmm. So I do a little like a, just a little tongue. All right. That's nice. And you slurp it. Okay. When you So when girls do that, like, <laughs> you got to sometimes do them a little slow-mo and like slowly go from like... <laughs> Oh my God, I wonder who's looking. It's so many people looking at me. Mama, I'm sorry. Is she on? No, oh. I had to block her. <laughs> <laughs> my mama was like sending me long messages like, you are so. Yeah, my, not... <laughs> my grandparents watch, my grandmothers watch my shit. So oh it is what God, it is. Oh my God, Grandma, no, don't judge me. It is what it is. It's just for content. Remember, yeah, I'm that's the it. actress. That's it. So I do the whole, sometimes I do like no hands. So it goes. That's the best. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get real sloppy, like so yeah. it'll be going down you, you got Yeah, side it. Mm -hmm. corn, corn on the cob. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Notice the sound she's making too. <laughs> yeah, that's you gotta key. get into it. Yeah, that's key. Because if you really put your mouth on him, then you gotta Yeah. You got a that's like got a little schmutz. Okay. Other side. You didn't give me nothing yeah, to clean it up with. The wine. Oh, you mean like a napkin? Yeah, that would be proper. A few minutes later. Do you swallow or spit? Oh my God. What? It depends on how much I like him. If I like him, I'm going, I never really swallow. I just make you think I swallow. That's petty. Just keep, just keep, <laughs> just, just keep it real at that point. <laughs> but if I don't really like you like that, or you don't make me mad, I'm going to spit to make you mad that I'm spitting and not swallowing. I mean, if you're mad at him, then why even give him that at that point? Yep, no. Um... Can you do the no hands thing again? That was so you just stop doing it. Stop doing what? When you mad at somebody, you think when y'all if y'all are in the middle of doing it and y'all get into an argument, do you just stop or do y'all continue having sex? Is your sex? tutorial over? No, answer the question. Well, I, I didn't even hear you. Go ahead. What was the question? If I'm if I if we're having sex and we get in an argument, yeah, getting in an do argument. Do you stop having sex? Nah, fuck harder. Exactly. But do you continue to argue or do you like... You talk shit more so than argue, I would say. Mm. 
Yeah, like y'all arguing. So y'all have sex and then after. talking talking shit towards each other during more. You so. like that's why your dick little and shit. Not even. I mean, no. Like not even that. Just you know what I'm saying. Like you just like coming for her. Like you know. Why fix that fucking attitude. You gonna fix that fucking attitude while you fucking her, and she, you know, get the talking shit back, or she might submit and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna fix it." All that good shit. Yeah. Get tutorial over. But what if she found out that you was cheating? You still gonna keep fucking me? If I'm up here like you just cheated on me, you gonna still fuck me? Are we in? The, I'm not, I'm confused. Is this before or no, during this is sex? During sex. I mean, if we're at that point, you should take it out and be like, you know, try to lie to me at that point. Why even bring that up during? Why not? I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't. You shouldn't bring that up during. But that was the tutorial. Oh my god! Why do you? He want more? I mean, I'm asking. Yeah. What do you? It it, it did get a little wet. Yeah, just a little. But yeah, I mean, it, it was decent. If I had to review that, um, I asked for your review. But I'm gonna give it anyway. I if I had to review that. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's because banana. You didn't want to provide more spit, but it should been should be a lot of spit. I should have. No, I can't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I know you're not about to because it's a banana, but yeah. other than that, it was decent. Yeah. The corn on the cob. Decided. Especially when they big. When they little, it's like, that's it. Mm-hmm. When they big, you got to keep gradually. All right. I don't know why little ones want, they want head. I think any man with one head. But if it's little, why do you want head? It ain't much to put in my mouth. I don't think he's worried about that. I think he's worried about the feeling. I wonder, do little ones, do you think little men know that they have little dicks? I think so. Yeah. So why they be saying they got big dicks and when we see it, it's a little? Probably feel good about themselves. Well, oh, you know what? Maybe not. It's like how some people be like 400 pounds and they don't realize it until they're like 405. (laughs) Me? Nah. What do you mean you? Uh, Y'all wouldn't believe how many pounds I am. I mean, you thick, but you ain't no like... How, people how many pounds about. you think I am? I'm not about to do that. Pretty no, much. no, do I'm it. I'm not about to do that. I'm I'm very confident in myself. I'm like, not about to sit here and guess your weight. I know. But anyway, back to the um, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and guess your weight. Pretty, I'm not doing that. Back to the so we got we got here from peroxides. So, okay, we know what the peroxide <laughs> is for, and pretty's not a big kisser. She can have sex without kissing. I I don't know. I prefer kissing. Like really? I mean, cause I, I'm quality over quantity. So like anything I have sex with, like. We gonna have a good time. Like now, I mean, if it's three in the morning, I just need a bust down. I don't even really live like that as much. But if it's mm. anymore, but if it's like three in the morning, I just need like a bust down or if it's a one night stand situation, cool. But if I'm fucking son, I'm trying to, you know what I mean, have a great time, do all the, you know what I'm saying, one in the spectrum to the next. Um. So anyway, speaking of the overnight bag, what's the furthest you would travel for a good sneaky link? Um, if it's more than in my city. You need to be getting me transportation there. What's the furthest you would drive? In my city. In or out, what's the furthest you would drive? Um, I guess as long as it's within Mecklenburg County, mm-hmm. that's how far I'm going to drive. So con- you wouldn't drive to Concord? Concord has a little bit of Mecklenburg County, I'm but about, outside. I'm talking about the deep mm-hmm. part of Concord. No. No. And the- I'm gonna be worried about what kind of man he is. I mean, it's only, that's only like a 35 minute drive. It could be. There's plenty of nice houses in Concord. It's not many people of color. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it in is. Concord, Concord is huge. Pretty Concord is huge. Oh, um, I don't know. What so you wouldn't drive. You wouldn't drive 35 minutes for a good sneaky link. No. Okay. So it sounds like 25 minutes tops is your thing. Yeah. Okay. At that point, he need to get a, a hotel. And I pick out the hotel. Yeah. Okay. Well, what if y'all meeting at a hotel? Oh yeah. Forty five minutes away. Would you? Yeah. You cool with that? Yeah, cause I'm, it's a five star hotel with robes. It's a it's a Holiday Inn. No robes. No, I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> My house is better than that. How much do you make a year? Me? Yeah. Ballpark between such and such. <laughs> I don't want the exact number, but I'm trying between such and such. Because you really like the finer things in life. So how much do you make a year? I like, I like people. You know what's crazy? Nobody has ever asked me that because I always just get and do what the fuck I want to do. And I'm trying to figure out how you get and do what the fuck you want to do. And people, you know what's so crazy? I'm about to tell y'all a story. One time my cousin mm-hmm. really hurt my fucking feelings because mm-hmm. he thought 
when I got my Jeep, my mm -hmm. Wrangler, mm -hmm. I got it in 2018. Mm -hmm. He was like, I thought you like so vagina. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I really worked hard for my fucking car. And like, I love my car. So I'm going to forever work hard to make sure that payment is paid. Because mm -hmm. I want my shit. Nine to five or entrepreneur? Or both? <laughs> People will never know. People be like, what are you doing? I just never answer the question. I just live my life unapologetically. Yeah. You have yeah. a sugar daddy? <laughs> People ask me that too. Do I have a, do I look like a sugar daddy? I mean, daddy? you're not giving an answer, so I'm just going down the I'm, list. Do you, uh, right. Do you, do you, I'm, I'm just answering the question. Do you have a sugar daddy? Oh, you're not answering, but do you have I, a sugar daddy? I am answer, answering is making a response to something. Okay. Well, do I have a sugar daddy? No, I do not. Okay. So since you said you are answering, answering the spots for something. <laughs> yes or no answer from here on out, all right? Can okay. we agree with that? Okay. Nine to five. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you said yes or no, nine to five. Technically, no. Not nine to five. Entrepreneur. No. no. Mm. Stripper. <laughs> You think this body would be on a pole? Well, stripper ain't all, always all just about the pole. It's, yeah. about work, it's about working the floor. I'm flexible as fuck. And I'm a good time and a personality. And these niggas be all in my fucking face. That's what I'm saying. It's about working the floor. It's about yeah. conversating. I can work any fucking place I go into. All right. Whether it's a fucking business meeting full of white executives. Mm -hmm. Or we at the church house. Mm -hmm. You know, or we... Well, I'm trying to not, yeah. this confidence. It's um it's it's admirable. It is. Everybody should if everybody had this type of confidence, life would be great. Nah, we don't need everyone to have it. Why not? Life would be better. Nah, that's how you keep balance in the world. <laughs> Thanos was right about a few things. I'm gonna just say that. So were you raised by both parents? Yes. Yeah. How many siblings? Two. You're the baby? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You gotta be <laughs> Um, your parents very often said no <laughs> to things you wanted. Right. 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 Yeah. All right. Figuring things out. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> you went to school. What was your major? what you think? Communications? I don't know. No. Like I wanted to be on the TV talking about what just happened. That's Actually, not communication. Live. That's that's journalism. That's and a broadcasting. Okay. Now communications is very broad, like sociology. And no no shame to those who have those degrees. I'm just saying, you know, it's like if people can't decide on something, they get like a major in com or sociology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's true. I know a lot of people like that, but no, my major was criminology. Criminology. Yeah. All right. My next question. Your nine nine to five, as you say, <laughs> does it involve your degree? No. It doesn't. Mm -mm. You said criminal. What you say, criminology? Criminology. Okay, so you don't work in that field of study at the at the moment. At all? Do I look like a police? I'm not no fucking police. Yeah, I don't know what you look like. Pretty. I mean, you you're a fucking mystery. Yeah, I'm a fucking mystery. That's what I say. I live by that. I'm a but fucking I'm mystery. Because you you said that you read people, but now you thought you knew, but you don't even know. Well, you have to ask questions first. Yeah. I can't. I, you okay. can't judge a book by its cover. You Mysterious can't do that. girl, I told you what. She poison. Yeah. Poison, poison, poison. Do uh do guys oft often spin the bin with you? Never spin trust the me. block. What? Everybody that touched me don't want to leave me. Coming back, I had one mm -hmm. that I used to talk to. He. Got a girlfriend after me. Uh -huh. And then they end up being together for like the longest or whatnot, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so he would often say something to me. I'm like, you got a girlfriend. Like, move on. Mm -hmm. And so one day he, they getting married. I'm like, God damn, it ain't never going to like break up. Mm -hmm. And so You said that? I ain't tell him that, but basically. Yeah. So then I hung out with him a couple of times or whatnot. And uh -huh. so and then he was like, I told my wife and my fiance that before we get married that I'm gonna have to like be with you again. Mm -hmm. And she like, can we join? I was like, she could never fucking touch me. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Uh uh. Well did you so, and yeah. him? Did you and him? No, she can't have him. 
That's my friend. You sure? So you and him never, mm -mm. he never soiled his oats before no. he got officially married? My new thing is, first of all, he's still not married. And my new thing is, I don't go back. Because if I left your ass, that's for a fucking reason. What about the dudes that left you? It's too many men. Ain't nobody ever leave me. He might have thought he no was going to No one ever left no. you. No. I don't want to. Besides no. the one who died. And he still be coming back in my dreams talking to me. Does he fuck you? Has a ghost fucked you? Have you had he sex might, with a ghost? Because I be waking up wet all the time. You have sex. You know that's a real thing. Like women have sex. Oh with my ghosts. god! Don't say that because I live by myself. I'm, I mean, it's a. I mean, it's a. I do too. It's a good thing. But have you been fucked by a ghost? I might have because I be wet and sometimes I be like, why is the little like something been down there and I know I ain't fucked in months. You know. I think you've been fucked by a ghost. I wonder which nigga because other hood niggas I talk to done died. Hold on. <laughs> I'm like, I know, right? Life is crazy. How many, how many guys have you be have you been sexually involved with that died? Oh, I only have two bodies. I forgot. <laughs> I mean, my shit is Let me here. pour some more of this drink. <laughs> Let me do that. My man, Lord Jesus. Because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This is <laughs> definitely the most intriguing, yet the most difficult. <laughs> unraveling I've done but I'm actually enjoying it he is but I'm actually enjoying it I am as well do you want some more no nah, you ain't even touch yours yeah I'm, you go to hell you ain't even touch yours I only need a little bit because I, don't, I gotta wake up early in the morning I don't sell nothing oh my god it's veterans day they didn't let you off when's veterans day you need to come and live your life unapologetically. That means I get free food. I have a I have a military ID. Oh my god, are you a veteran or are you a? I have a military ID. You a kid of a veteran? I have a military ID. That's all that matters. So that mm. means I'm gonna get free food. That's that shit. Listen, I'm trying to. I be hitting up these different wine sponsorships. Look, turn it around. Let me show you. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna give them a plug. But I'm gonna just show the oh. wine companies <laughs> that I've been hitting up. Look, look at this stand. I can remove this bush and put your bottle right here, front and center, where everyone can see. Okay. I'm and trying be drinking to, it. Yeah. Giving a review. It is one wine company that's black owned that is on my vision board that I know in 2024 I will collab with, and I can't wait till I do. That way I can clip this real and you know, be like. Manifestation. I'm weak. The cousin of the one who died is on my live. She laughed. That that you said probably is fucking me. He yeah, probably think, is I fucking think, me. Yeah, I think you've been fucked by a ghost. He um, loves me. He always said it was his. Okay. The other dude that passed as well. Mm -hmm. Did he did he get a taste too? Um no. Maybe some fingers. <laughs> yours or his? Excuse you? Yours or his? Oh, do I look like a finger in a man's ass type of girl? <laughs> oh, hell no. That is not me. You're a mystery, Never remember? Ever. So I, I don't Never. know what you look like. All right, you're a well, mystery. That right there is not the well, mystery. You're a that mis has been solved. You're a <laughs> I don't play with no man's asshole. The fuck? If I was being with a man for like 10 years and he, then he want his asshole pelly with? You ever licked a man's I'm ass? I'm leaving. Hell no. I don't even go down there. What the fuck? I, you better jump up if I touch your butt cheek. It's, it's a thing now. No, one that's in, nasty as fuck. Two in every four women has done it. Well, no, one in every three women has done it. I'm sorry, excuse me. All right, so anyway, reverse back. Okay, two dudes you've Big been with have, two dudes you've been with have passed, or one and a half. You said only his fingers. Mm -hmm. I only have two bodies today. Two bodies? Yeah. But yet you know the no hands trick or the banana like that? Yes. So you've given head more than you've had sex? No. So you only give an oral to two men. Yes. But yet you, you did the corn on the cob. The because no hands, my mom, my mom always promoted healthy living, so I always had bananas. So you've always practiced on bananas. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes, yeah, my brother would <laughs> leave the like the um the porn DVD. Mm -hmm. So when I press play, I'm like, <laughs> and I started getting addicted to watching the porn. Mm -hmm. It was all because my brother, and he used to buy it. My mom used to be so mad, like, why the fuck are you purchasing porn? The DVDs were better. <laughs> like, movies were better. Like, as compared to watching on a computer or watching on a tablet, I actually used to watch porn on my PSP. Mm -hmm. Watching on, like... <laughs> on the PSP? On the PSP. <laughs> Hell Yeah. Watch a porn, like a movie, a DVD, like it hit different. That shit hit what, different. 
Did you have privacy? Because my mama didn't allow the doors shut. So it I would have never, to be like... I never got caught. Your hand would have to be on the pause button. And sometimes oh, I yeah, used to you, be you would grown. definitely You would yeah. definitely set up. You would definitely set up precaution. Or I'd turn... We had the big old screen TV on the floor. Mm-hmm. Or I'd turn it this way. So if she walked in, I yeah. could like press the button. Yeah, always, always. You definitely had to have like an escape route. Mm-hmm. It wasn't was just crazy. free ball. Um, middle school, playing with myself. Oh, this was middle school? So when did you actually like try it out? So what? having sex. Oh, as an adult. So from middle school to as an adult, you were very curious. You were playing with yourself, but you waited that long to actually have sex. I was humping pillows. You nice. get off from humping pillows. Hunching. I used to hump pillows too. Yeah. I used to, y'all, this is crazy because I wasn't old enough to get a vibrator. And you know, Spencer's used to trip. I um I had got this little, it was like a little disc. So a circle mm-hmm. vibrator thing that will go in the back, you know, a massage pillow. Mm-hmm. So I took it out and I used to. Oh you God. use the vibrating part? Yeah, I used to put it in between it and then like hump it. And then when it would vibrate, that was so crazy. You sound you sound <laughs> like you was a, a curious, yeah. horny child. So why did you wait? So, I mean, it, it's good that you did. Because my fingers and stuff in those pillows were really good. Like those hard ass pillows. Mm-hmm. You know the hard pillows I'm talking about that feel like they got beans and sure, shit in them? yeah. Oh, you ain't never had them? I, I I don't know. But anyway, those were good enough? Yeah, you just hump. And yeah. then you come and then you just like, okay. Yeah. It's disgusting until you horny again. I didn't know women thought like that. I know I know we sound. Oh, yes. we, we think like that. Like when we masturbate and we nut, we're like, I'm fucking disgusting. Yes. I used uh, to hate coming before the main part of like the... The porn, get you know they still mm, up there doing right, their right. their oh, so, foreplay. I used to be like trying to hold it, but I'm like, yeah. no. Do that uh. again. Bring the mic closer. <laughs> so you, <laughs> so 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 you would you would watch the beginning of porn. You would watch the whole. I like seeing the foreplay a little ah, bit, okay. but then I don't like to see all that. Come on now, y'all doing all that kissing and shit. Yeah. Y'all know what y'all was supposed to be yeah, doing, fucking. Yeah. And so I move up, and then I'm like, oh shit. She already having sex. Did she suck his dick? So go back. So I go back and I want to watch it. What's your favorite part of porn videos? What's crazy is I don't like girls, mm-hmm. but I like to see big booty girls mm-hmm. and big titties. So like my search engine is like big tits, mm-hmm. big ass, mm-hmm. threesomes. 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 <laughs> Well, yes. Maybe maybe it's because you know you're you're curvaceous mm-hmm. yourself. Maybe that's why oh, you yeah. like seeing. Because I'm two. Yeah. Um. So you like threesomes? Have Big you been pretty. in a th- Have you been in a threesome? No, I just told you I only had sex with two people. I mean, one of them could have been with the another two girl. at the same time. No. We said two men. I didn't know if that meant a man or woman. Oh also. yeah. Would you have a threesome? Um, I don't know what the future. Yeah, there we well, go. Never say never, right? For yeah. the most part. So why would so why do you like watching the threesome stuff if you I don't know. Can you go in my brain and figure that out, Dang? That's what I'm trying to do, pretty. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. All right, let's let's uh <laughs> what do you got for me? Go ahead and lay out okay, one of your your, your 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 thinking bobs. Let's uh I know she go crazy. I sure do. Let's get this. I thing. I'm flexible. My fucking legs can go behind my like a crab. Really? Fit me up. Yeah. The fuck? I like it all in me. And I can bend it. And I can ride. I can bend over and back it up. I can ride it. So how do you know you... If you've only been with two dudes... I mean, I'm curious because you... What, you think we only did it once? No, but still, like... (laughs) I don't know. Like, you don't... You sound like someone that's been with more than two dudes, but... All right, let's see. Oh, my God. Day, y'all. Y'all listen to Day. Did I'm y'all just hear this dun 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 dun? I'm not saying what you're is, a hoe. No, I didn't think that. But not I'm saying all. I'm just saying you sound experienced. No, with the two. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me know, y'all. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? She's really been with two dudes. Drop a comment. I am weak. Drop a comment. All right, what do you got for me? Okay, let's talk about. All right, why do me and why do they be so quick to want to have sex? Like, damn, you just met me. Why we gotta fuck? Um, why y'all can't wait and know my middle name before you have sex with me? Well, let me ask you, what's the point of waiting? Getting to know if you really want to have like put your they, D inside of me. They do. They know within 
we know within two minutes. Now, it's different if we want to really get to know you as if we're trying to date you and be in a relationship with you. But, I mean, if we know we want to do it, then we know we want to do it. And not to mention women. Y'all know quick as fuck if y'all want to fuck us as well. How do you know? Because I know. So let's not sit there and act like y'all just no. be wanting to. Y'all have to go through an assessment. Are you a 90-day rule? Are you a 90-dayer? No. Never. Not 90 days. That's excessive. So if you say, say you and I, we just met today. Say we're mm -hmm. out somewhere. We're getting, we're grabbing drinks when we're at the bar. Yeah. And in your mind, you're like, Davon looks good. I want to fuck him. Right. How long would you hold out? Till I'm ready to fuck you. I mean, what, I what determines that? When my vagina starts like getting extra. You're throbbing extra. at the bar. Mm -hmm. But not throbbing like that. You're I'm just th throbbing enough that a little fingers do it. But that doesn't get it done. Yeah. Who wants to just, who wants to just, like, what? That's you. I might you. do it in the car beside you on the way back home. And no, you still can't do it to me. So what And I'm, then they get mad. Well, I, I want to get mad. But my question is, when would you want the real bee's knees? Because your finger still doesn't quite do it. I mean, it does it for you, it but might. it'll still never be me actually fucking you. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And deep down, you really want to see what that's about. So my question is, when would you actually see what it's about? I guess. Because the I'm, ball's in your court. Yeah, when I'm ready. He said she going to fuck. No, I'm fuck you. <laughs> what determines when you're ready? When my pussy thriving, like you done really fucking. Okay, yeah. it's been four days. Your fingers get it done at the moment, but deep down But what inside, we been doing? Have we been hanging out? Yeah, been hanging out. We've been going places. Been on three dates. Spending money. Sure. Yeah. Been on three dates. And I'm and I'm horny. And it's throbbing. And I ain't had no dick in a while. Yeah. So then what? I guess so. I mean, at least sound like you would enjoy it yeah, somewhat. So I guess, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm just being really particular for my third body. Yeah. Because they say three's a charm. I'm trying to hopefully this will be the last body till I die. Three so, bodies at death. So who will be that third What's, body? When was, the, when was the last time you had sex with a man? Hmm? You heard what I said. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Could you repeat it again? When was the last time you had sex with a man? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, ho I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yes, I've only got two bodies, so I can't wait to see the comments. If you really say I have more than two comments, I mean two bodies, then something's really wrong with you. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. That is somewhat hard to believe nowadays. What? It is. I mean, you people... just saw the lady on the news who just announced that she just had her last, um, I mean, she a virgin. She's like 49 or some shit. And why do you think that shit made the news? Because it's a <laughs> fucking anomaly. My point exactly. Uh, she done had something. She done sucked a little dick. They probably saying that about you. She done fucked more than twice. She done, <laughs> she done, had, she done had something. I haven't. I'm telling y'all. I can be the only person to tell y'all. Y'all can't tell me about my life. I have to be the one to tell my story. And the yeah. story that I'm telling y'all, uh -huh. which is the true story, uh -huh. only got two bodies. When was the last time you had sex with one of those two bodies? One of them is dead, so that's oh. that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Didn't mean to strike a nerve. Didn't mean to make it. Uh, I know. Sound. What's crazy is my coworker, she was talking about him today, too. So I'm like, damn. How long ago did he pass? He passed in 2021. 2021. Sorry to hear that. I really am. Thank you. That, so he might really come and fuck Because he took your virginity, I'm assuming? No, he didn't. Okay. But still, I'm sorry to hear that. He didn't um, take the virginity. But it sounds like he's getting the draws even from, you know, uh, <laughs> the, the other side regardless. I okay. can't believe you fucking me still. Yeah. Well, But I would it. fuck me too. If I was a nigga, if I was a nigga, I would, this, I would want me. Mm-hmm. That's why I date myself right now. I go with myself. People be like, you in a relationship? Yeah. Pretty with dates, myself. pretty, yeah. When I'm on dates, one, I mean, with myself at the steakhouse. They're like, you waiting on something? Nope. Dressed up like a bad bitch by myself, taking myself on a date. Yeah. Yeah. 
You did say it the other day on your story that you want to go out on a date. Oh, my God. Yeah. Doing homework and shit. That's what the fuck I does. You trying to pass the final exam. You want a guy to take you on a date? Yes, take me on a date. Oh, well, I had plenty motherfuckers was ready to do that shit. So, did you partake on anyone? No. So, what the fuck was the point of throwing it out there? Because I know what kind of date I want to have. So, not the dude that you had in mind responding. I don't have no type of dude in mind. Because any nigga that come with a good plan as a fucking date, mm. I'm going to fucking go. But no one came with a good plan is what you're saying. Yeah, nobody up there. They like, I see, I want to take you on a date. No motherfucker, book the fucking shit and tell me when the fuck to come. I'm going to be there. Well, I mean, if a guy, if 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 a chick just said, I want to go on a date and a guy books it and says, hey, I've been booked for here. I mean, it's not guaranteed that she's going to say yeah. So I think I that, am real bitches, okay. and I'm telling you, real fucking girls okay. are going to make a what? Okay, so I didn't even move last appointments because a nigga said he wanted to go to a fucking place. Yes, I'm going on that fucking date because why the fuck would I stay at home and have to make my own food or buy my own food when a nigga about to buy my food? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that's not good marketing. That's in, uh, to leading to and they grab still a date. they still gonna try and they still gonna talk to me. I mean, listen. men are shallow. Y'all y'all don't care. Well, I don't know about y'all, but listen, what would the world be without tricks? Tricks are for kids. Oh my god, it is what it is. Just how I'm you just said. Look, I'm looking for the one you're talking about. I'm not. I'm I'm talking with you. I'm saying <laughs> you want someone to take you on a dinner just cause that's no. a trick. I said I wanted. No, it's a someone that wants to be nice. Didn't the Lord give a bunch of chances? So people are supposed to like do nice things. That's a delusional ass dude is what it sounds like. No, somebody who want to do something nice. I would nice. never take a woman on a date just to feed her because she's hungry. No, it's not. It's because I want to be on a date. Uh -huh. I said, I, did okay. I say I was hungry? Because I might want to go on a date. You just said, why would I stay home and cook food when a dude can pay for my food? Yeah. Ain't that what you just said? That sounds like a goofy <laughs> ass nigga. It's no, what I'm saying. Yes. But you wouldn't know that. You don't think women well, they do are now. thinking that? They do now. They wouldn't know what? No, I'm not trying to mess it up for the women that's trying to talk to them. I mean, niggas already know what the agenda is, but they still going to pay it, is what I'm saying. Even after all this shit you said, a nigga is still going to want to take you Absolutely. out just, just to be in your presence. Game Absolutely. Is, game is game, and I respect it. I'm just saying a nigga like me would fucking never. That's all I'm saying. Until you get that voodoo hit on you. A voodoo hit? I'm not a real voodooist, but I'm a well, mysterious listen. girl, and I can well, listen. just... Well, listen. Well, listen. In the words of the late, great Christopher Wallace, at the head right, day 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 every night. Yeah. So, yeah, you might got a point. If, I'm telling if, you. If, if it's voodoo head, then, yeah. we Got that super Then, yeah. What, what like you want to go to? The Brazilian gold. Steakhouse? Plus, it's tighter than a joker. Roof Chris? Yeah. Yeah, if you put voodoo head on me, then, yeah, we definitely... Yeah, uh, I'm going to spin the bend. Ladies... If you want to know how to do it, my Instagram is that damn pretty. Why not just? Uh, do you have? A, you don't have OnlyFans. Why not? Ah, why not start OnlyFans? I'm about to. No, I'm just kidding. I'm contemplating it. It is actually in my browser, mm -hmm. but I have not created an account, so what'll, it's in my browser. Uh, what'll be on there? I don't know. It what won't type of be content? me. I know some nigga was like he wanted to fuck me on there. One of the porn stars followed me and blocked a bunch of pictures. I'm like looking at his page. I like shit, but I'm like, I'm not fucking you. If it was anything, it might be a little more provocativeness, doing crazy shit. Like what? With body out and stuff like that. I don't know, because I live my life unapologetically. I'm not a planner, so it'll just come to me. They always have exclusives. You're not a planner, you just go with the wind? Yep. By the way, you're a lash tech. No, I'm not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. He think he know me. No, I'm not. I'm an ex slash tag. Go to that page. You won't see no post. Okay. You want to look at my square and see the last I, I time I had I an even, appointment? I, I only said that because you just said I would literally push back a lash appointment. You just said that. No, to get my lashes done. To I, get yours I get done. my lashes done like every every four days. Do you not have any real lashes? Do you have any? Like, I do have real lashes. Yeah. You can look on my page and see pictures of me without lashes. Yeah. Yeah, I can look cute with or without lashes, but I do like the look of me with lashes. Hey, respectfully so. Yeah, all these people on here and loving it. How many people on your live? You're going to have to give him a sample. You keep talking about that head. <laughs> well, listen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shout out to the community. <laughs> Shout out to the pretty community. I am weak as hell. 
Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Now the people are gonna be wondering, did she give him a sample? I'm gonna let y'all know right now, a sample will not be had. I'm gonna tell you something <laughs> with these shows I do, like, cause it's, uh, most of a good amount of them go something like this. Mm -hmm. A lot of people be thinking like I be fucking like my guests, yeah, like a lot, like that's crazy. It's like four, it's like three guests in particular. I can think four that like men and women be like, yo, like my homies, my homeboys, they be like, yo, I know you fuck shorty or. Uh, this is one girl I'm talking to at the moment. By the time this come out, who knows? We may or may not be talking oh, anymore. No. But, um, she was watching one of my episodes, and she was like, uh, yeah, that was giving we fucking around vibes. <laughs> Y'all, ladies, come on now. This is what I always say. You got to stay on your top game, and you don't have to worry about them other bitches. Because I'm telling you, I done been that bitch where I know that I can let that nigga be in a room full of bad bitches, and they may get attention but they won't ever get his dick or his fucking heart. Like, they may get their dick sucked, but he will not be fucking you and shit because he they're wants... Yeah, right. Day yeah. Every night. I'm telling you, niggas, girls, <laughs> ladies, come on now. I'm telling you. Um, when what You're an AKA. Oh, my God. You're an AKA. <laughs> Who said that? Your license plate. Your license plate border cover thing. Your license plate cover? Oh, I'm not driving my car today. The Jeep? Mm-hmm. That's your car? Oh, yeah. I let somebody use it, and they put that on there. They just need to take the, the tag off. What about your keychain? What keychain? And your and your bag. That's a pink and... It's the one right fucking there, hanging outside of your purse. Oh, yeah. They left the keychain and the tag. You have it in your Instagram bio. I do? You do. What do I have on my Instagram? That's your uh, AK, N A K A. It says that? Yeah, it does. I don't believe Has so. Has this whole episode been a lie? I have. <laughs> I don't believe that. You're an AKA. It don't say it, but it don't say AKA on there. And AKAs are typically like pretty girls. Not. I'm not talking about physically, I'm talking about the vibe, pretty girl vibe. And, those and are, physically. Yeah, exactly. So you are an AKA. But. I never said that on Instagram. You, it's literally in your bio. Pull up your bio. I, I, I'm looking at the bio. Y'all, it's not gonna say AKA in there. But I mean, it doesn't say the letters AKA, but it has the thing that means AKA. You literally have a pink and a green heart. What else could that mean? Oh, I like those colors. Yeah, cause you're an AKA. Yeah. Big bubbles. Who's big bubbles? I'm sorry. <laughs> My I, dog that died. She was my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. To hear How that. you didn't do your research? You would have saw her on my page in the pinned. Mm, nah, I ain't do that much research. But, but you're but you're an AKA, right? Mm, yeah. That's what you say. Listen, can we keep it real for thirty yes, seconds? Yes, I am. Thank you. Put this Lord, mis put this I'm... mysterious shit in the bag for thirty no, seconds. Pretty. Don't be mad at me. Cause you couldn't break the. You say you like the mystery knew, rules, knew, but you wasn't able to I break them. I been knew you was an AKA. You had, that wasn't no mystery to me. The keychain, the the thing, the pink and green heart. I knew you was an AKA. A lot of people don't know that I'm one. They'd be like, "What?" Well, hey, if they do see me pop out with like, I'm like, "Yeah, I just don't broadcast it." You got to be slow to not know she an AKA. It's literally in her bio. It's pink and green heart. What else could that mean? It's a lot of people who like pink and green. Yeah, but they wouldn't put that in their bio unless they're in AKA. No, it's some girls who aren't AKAs with pink and green. And Alpha Kappa Alpha, we don't haze or bully or anything, so we can't say anything to those people. Okay. Well, I didn't assume that you did haze or anything, but um, yeah, yeah I, I like AKs. That's all I was going to say. you going through all that, going mm -hmm. through all them turns and, and hula hoops and shit. I like AKs. I fuck with AKs. I like y'all. Y'all nice, y'all pretty and whatnot. Yeah, we're good people to the world. What school you went to? I'm a Betty's Ford baby. Went to Johnson C. Smith. Betty's Ford to the wheels fall. Are you from Charlotte? Yeah, I'm from Betty's Ford. Oh, okay. College, high school, all that on Betty's Ford Road. West Charlotte? No. West Mac? I'm from Betty's Ford, Northwest. Northwest? I'm, yes. I'm still kind of learning mm -hmm. certain things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, they are actually on Beta Sport Road. When did you graduate college? Um, years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Dave think I'm think I don't he done got me comfortable when he about to get it all out of me, but 
Y'all, I, I stay on my on my P's and Q's. Best oh, believe that. That's how I'm that damn pretty. Shit. <sighs> yeah. Stay on my P's and Q's. How many relationships have you been in? Two. Both with the dudes that are no longer here? Or one of which no longer here? And, uh, both dudes that you've been with physically? Yeah. Anybody okay. I have sex with, we are in a relationship. Got you. So if you have sex with me, we go together. Real bad. Yeah? Yeah. Why else not? What if he dips on you? You have sex with him. You think y'all go together, You're not but gonna dip. he just he just he just treats you like a regular little bugger and keeps it stupid. Can't just get enough. Can't get enough. It's like crackheads. Well, see, here's the thing though, because it's only one person that can to that can attest to that. That you saying like your shit is like crack. So I I don't know how to really like. The other one, you can talk to people that's in heaven. Okay, well the one that's here, call him up. Let's ask him. The one that's here. He in prison. <laughs> Stop, day. <laughs> Y'all, I try to give my sisters the benefit of the doubt. I swear oh to God, God, I do. <laughs> I swear to God, I do. Damn. <sighs> what, what's... <laughs> What 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 what's 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 he in prison for, Pretty? Huh? What's he in prison for? Allegedly, they say he did stuff that he didn't do. <sighs> like what? Oh my god, racketeering attempted murder. Attempted what? Murder? Huh? You said it. I didn't say it. Allegedly. How, how many years he got? Years. How do you know it was years? Attempted murder, rack and turn. I mean, what what is this? Rico? How many years Rico, he got? Rico, yeah. Is he in federal? Yes. How many years he got? He'll Jesus. Be in, in 32. He'll but, be out in 32 years? But 28 years? when they give him his other time. Did you say he'll be out in 32 years? No, he'll be out in 28. 2032? 19, I mean, 2028, 20, yeah. He's been Jesus. here for a long time. When did he go in? 2000 and... 14. So you haven't had... Okay, two, wait. Hold <laughs> up, wait. Yeah, I ain't had sex since 2014. But the other dude died in 2021. So what's the next question? <laughs> anyway, um, but, oh. hold on. Here, here's what I can't understand. Yeah, caught your ass. Here's oh what I can't God. understand. Why do the prettiest women? First off, why? What, what's pretty women? College women, degree women. What's, I know, right? Because I was some, in college when I met you him. Went, and you majored in criminology, <laughs> and ended up with a criminal. What is this power? That was really crazy. It what's is this power. Obs uh, what's That's this obsession cool. with pretty college educated women and street dudes? That was like, I used to really like to watch those urban, I mean, read those urban books and like those, like Belly and all that stuff. So like when I found him, I was like, whoa, this is like the real life. But he never put me in any of his stuff. Like I didn't even know half the shit when he was in court. Again, what's the obsession with pretty college educated black women and street dudes? I don't know. We, I think our job as those pretty women is to help people because we're so pretty and so we help we have to pick those people to help to help people yeah i don't we think we have to help those guys that's why we like them that's why y'all like them yeah we that's your to answer to help them it's it's what we why not help why not help a, a a man with a business a white a, a blue collar white collar man with a business an entrepreneur why do you have to help a street I don't know. Some girls do do that. It's just some girls can't. most can. girls like the they street have have... dudes. And your reason is because y'all have to help them? I'm not really a builder. I feel like I'm not builder bear. It, it doesn't have anything to do with building. You're saying to help. Why can't you help a man? Why can't you help an entrepreneur who owns his own business? There are people who do that. I'm saying, why can't you, pretty? I never said I You're couldn't. on the seat, but you prefer... I never said I couldn't. I know, but you prefer to help a street dude, what mm -hmm. you said. I never said that You either. did just say that. I, I said, why do you like street dudes? They you said... Words in my no, mouth. I said, why do you like street Agree dudes? You me, said to help. Agree with me. You said to help. No, 
I was speaking for the ladies. Well, let's speak for you, God damn it. I'm speaking okay. for you, pretty. Why do you <laughs> prefer street dudes? I don't. So one, you, one of them's in prison, and the other one, God rest his soul, is passed. How did he pass? He just died. Yeah, he okay, exactly. He, are you serious? No. That's not something <laughs> you lie on. Okay, well, he had... Yeah, he got shot. Okay, so these are two dudes that both had your body that you were both in relationships with that were both street niggas. So obviously you prefer it. So my question for you is, why do you prefer street niggas? It's not that I prefer it because I do look and say one day that I want to be with a professional or someone who's not in the street doing legal money and things. But it's just so happened that the odds made it where... I stumbled upon them. You answered without answering shit. I answered that question. You said one because all you the, all you, you said me was answer and all, I answered no no no. It. All you said was one day I'll go the non street route, but my eyes wandered to a street nigga twice. I said the odds. I can't help. Oh, the odds. The odds. Yeah. You're in full capacity and control of your choices. Um, I don't feel like it. Well, you are. I pretty. might just be the special one person in the no, world. Pretty. Don't you feel, are one hundred percent in control of your choices. How you know in this world because that's the way the life. That's the way life works. That's the way you think. No, life that's works. the way life works. Okay, dang. So you can't tell me why you Stop like being closed minded. No, I'm very open minded. That's why I'm trying to figure this shit out. Why do you? I just perhaps I told you I stumbled upon them. The odds were not in my favor. All right, I'm not going to get this answer out of you, so we can move on. Um, oh let's move on to you. What do you got for me? Oh, I've been the one asking all the questions. No, you've been the one bullshit and answers. Absolutely That's what you've been not. doing. Yeah. That's not a girl. I'm not that type of girl. What's the... Let's see. Okay, listen to this. Women paying for any portion, like y'all go out of town. Mm-hmm. Or like you fly her out and mm-hmm. she got to pay for a hotel or whatever. Mm-hmm. If she pay for any portion, she's not required to have sex with you, is she? So you're saying if we have a vacation out of town, out of or the no, state, or no, you you fly her to where you at? Okay, I fly a woman out. Okay, yeah, okay, and she doesn't pay for anything. So no, I, but no, she pays for something. Okay, like what? Like, food, drinks. Yeah, okay, may, any anything, okay. food, drinks, or a hotel or whatever. She pay for anything. Okay, then she's not required to have sex with you. Well, here's Even the thing if you with that, spend a bunch of money on her. Well, first and foremost, that should be laid out before anyone gets flown out. Like, flying someone out, like, if that's something you go over beforehand, first and foremost. You shouldn't just fly someone out like, hey, I'm going to fly this person from Chicago to Charlotte, hoping that when she gets out here, she's going to fuck me. No, y'all should have that discussion first and foremost beforehand. Then you should know that you should be paying for everything. Okay, if that's what y'all come to the agreement on, yeah. sure, why not? If you like... got it, if you flying a chick out, and if you got it, like me, if I if I if I'm flying a chick out, then that means the weekend is on me. She gonna right. stay at my crib. I'm gonna buy food. I'm gonna when we go out, I'm gonna cover everything. But again, we're gonna go beforehand. We're gonna have sex. <laughs> I'm now me personally. If I am I gonna fly a chick out, pay for everything, and not have sex? No. <laughs> Because I could just get someone in the city, mm-hmm. spend less money, that would want to have sex. That's true. So, yeah, you go over beforehand, and, um, yeah, I hope that answers your question. Does that answer your question? It does. Yeah. Have you ever been flown out? Mm-hmm. Is it, Is it an owl in this motherfucker? I mean, <laughs> that's the 10th time you done asked who or whom after you heard. what. I, we're nothing but 12, 12 inches away from one another. Have you been flown out? I've been on a plane. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, I have patience, you know. Oh, me too. Clearly. Clearly. But I have patience, so this is actually entertaining to me. Mm -hmm. I keep my foot on safety. Because you know by not saying anything, you're saying a lot. If that's what people want to think. I let people, you know what? I let people think whatever. I can let somebody think right now that I have a hundred. It's not about your bodies. It's not about your bodies. A hundred. I, I believe that you have two bodies. It's it's not about your bodies. That can be whatever it is. It's, it's not about that. Mm-hmm. But it's just, 
it's been questions that I've thrown at you and you've stumbled, which has led to you either not saying anything or asking me to repeat myself. And again, that says a lot on its own. I, men talk to me all the time and don't get none of my vagina. I would said nothing about getting your cookie. No, no, I was talking about like, so you saying that I believe, I've only I dated said, two people, but I have talked to other people that I haven't gave anything to. I, I did. I I believe. No, that. I was just I saying. Said, I believe you have two bodies. It's just other things around those two bodies. Mm -hmm. I'm unraveling. <laughs> Little do you know. Little do you know. Yeah, like you don't realize where the fuck you at. Oh my god, you I'm don't. about to throw away the key. Nah, listen, you we we agreed for you to come on this podcast because you mm -hmm. want a podcast. No, nope. but I'm just letting you know. I'm enjoying this. This <laughs> is actually too. sharpening my skills. This is actually sharpening yes. my communication skills. This was fun. This is really fun for me. So was I a communication major or minor? Hell no, I wasn't. But I did take like nine credits of it. I mean, yeah, they're requirements. We all, took public, <laughs> we all took public speaking and shit. What school did you attend? Bowie State. What are you? Cake. But we stay. It's in the CIAA. I yeah. know, but what are you? We kick y'all ass in football. You a you an alpha? Guess. Yes. We both. I said guess. We both about to be on mysterious time since that's what type time I it is. I did. You're an alpha. I give alpha vibes. Yes, you do. Why do I give alpha vibes? Look like you could train right here. Train? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by train? Probably the the train. Mm. And y'all hang out. You done been the best man to one of them. Mm. I give alpha vibes? Yeah. All right. Are you one? Next question. Oh, my God. I guess wrong. We both mysterious tonight. You're an Iota? No. Are you a Miyaka? No. <laughs> Are you a Kappa? Next question. You're a Kappa? I didn't say yes. If that's what she wants to believe, oh my listen, God. we both about to you play this game tonight, Kappa. baby. We both about to play this game. If that's what you want to believe, pretty. You are mysterious. <gasps> you're Omega. If that's what you want to believe, that you're pretty. Omega. You got, you it's glowed up. You glowed Me up. Sai. You glowed Me up. You glowed up. You glowed up when you said that. Nah, I'm going to be <laughs> honest. I didn't pledge. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's never too late. I've met people and known people no, to pledge. I believe so. I'm just not interested. Mm -hmm. But no, I never pledged. You are a piece of work. I am. I I have this. I'm a post it where I told people, people, you can't handle me. It takes two hands to handle me. Let me tell you something. And a lot me. of men in the world can only use one hand at a time. So it's only a little bit of men that can use two hands, and I, know, I haven't I know why you like street been, niggas. A, been able to be around. I know those why you men. like street niggas. Why? Because they make you fucking crumble. crumble. All these dudes you talking about right now are dudes that you can control that you say can't handle you and all this shit and it's whatnot. Issue. But you feel it. But it's it's a certain type of dude which you see as a street nigga that just makes you fucking melt. And you just get completely submissive over. And all this shit you talking goes completely out the window. Mm -hmm. yeah. You think so? Yeah, but anyways, no. I digress. Am I submissive woman or am I alpha? I'm well, every, very submissive. Every, every, every woman is submissive for a certain dude. Some women, it's a lot of, it's majority of men. Some women, it's a small percentage of women, uh, men. It depends on the woman, but every woman wants to be, every lioness wants to be tamed. Yes, that's what men were supposed to be here for. Yeah. To lead us. It's just some dudes don't want to put up with bullshit to get to that level, that's all. But every lioness wants to be tamed. That's it. Yeah. Yep, I am a current lioness in the wilderness waiting to be tamed and captured. So if you're looking at this, shoot your shot. Just know if I leave you on red, that means... Well, a lot of suckers no. going to shoot their shot if they see this. Yeah, come. I have great tits and a personality. That's all I bring. It's tits and personality? They can go to the yeah. strip club and get that. But your own personal tits and personality. Yeah, why not? Oh, in a water park down there. But who knows how long it'll be before he, before he even gets that. It might be today. Might be within the 
Don't, you're you never know. I think you're bluffing. I'm not. I'm looking. Dave's gonna be. He's gonna help match me up to get my third and lucky person. I am. This would be cool if it like becomes a spinoff for the TV show. What this right here? Yeah. It could. It could if you're watching this. It could. I think Dave's open to this being full time for him. What are you talking about? Some of me and you, like. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, you being a a TV show. You might do TV shows and podcasts and shit. Oh, I would love to do a TV show. Yeah. I can definitely see you on a TV show and being a host. Thank you. You know how to be a a good middle person, not make people feel uncomfortable, but still voice your opinion without. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I would like to think that's what I do on here for the most part when I bring on episodes like this. Yeah. You know, it's a good vibe. I, n- I never made you uncomfortable during the show, have I? No, yeah. it's been good vibes. I've been comfortable. Cool. You've kept it real, though. Who, me? Me. You haven't. I have. Yes, I have. You I'm haven't. 100% keep it real. You've been about 65% no, real baby. so far. No, baby. $60 can't get well, you, you don't, nothing. You don't, you don't, but $100 you, can't you, you haven't answered all my that. questions. But at the same time, by not them. answering them, you have answered no, them. So you know what? I didn't you, answer you've it been the about, way you wanted you've been me to 90, answer. You've been about 90%. I didn't answer it the way you wanted me to answer. You've been about 90%. No, I didn't answer it the way you wanted me to answer it. And the only way I want no, is by words. I can words. answer it however I would like to answer it. And the only it. way I want is by I'm words. I'm sorry. There were no conditions when you asked those questions. You didn't say, do not do this, this, and this. See, that's why I tell people, stop being vague. Mm-hmm. People say don't cheat, mm-hmm. right? You mm-hmm. got to be like, don't cheat ever. If you say don't cheat, that might mean don't cheat today. <laughs> don't cheat tomorrow. <laughs> like, stop being vague. Well, most people just assume that certain things are implied. No. no like Because who, who says don't cheat, but I only mean don't cheat today? I might, tomorrow I might be feeling generous and like, you know what? This is your lucky day. Have you, you can, have you ever felt generous before? Yeah. Have you ever acted upon that generosity before? Have I ever? No. Mm. Absolutely not. I'm a lady. Of the Southern Belle. A Southern Belle, an AKA. A Southern Belle. That damn pretty. You a pretty AKA. Know. Plus your thing is pink. So do you get everything in like pink and green? Absolutely not. Mm. Why were you insulted? You're an AKA. Why did yeah, you just get insulted by that? Yeah, but that doesn't make that? me... I, I love the color. I'm one you, of them. Like, I'm a part of a, a like-minded women. But pink and green. People, When people do all that pink and green, no, that's not me. I'm not saying all, but I mean, you have a pink thing. So I'm just asking, oh, yeah. did that have a connection with you being an AKA? Mm. That's all I ask. No, it just looked better. It's pink. And black, it looked cheap. You said black looks cheap? I love black and navy no, blue. It, this on this, it looked cheap. This but looks a lot more sophisticated. I'm not going to lie. When you first pulled that out, I thought it was a sex toy. I thought it was like a dildo. You I should have brought my toys. Yeah, why not? I didn't know what type of vibe. Well, now you know. I show people how to... Because you don't need a man, ladies. Do you hear me? You can get yourself off by yourself. And I can show you. But don't come in my inbox being weird. Because some of y'all be thinking y'all going to turn me gay. And I like dick. My third one would be a man. It will be. I, I, I I'm just like, because girls always, I'll be out and about dancing and I'll be like, okay, here a man trying to talk to me. I'm like, mm. then a girl be trying to talk to me. This one girl, she was like, my cousin want to talk to you. I was like, mm, no thanks. She was like, good, because I want you. And then so I was like, oh, so we walk and she's like, you're going to give me your number? I want to take you on a date. And I was like, oh, date? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her my fucking Literally number. Ass right up. She said date. <laughs> Look date. pretty ass right up. Yeah. Was she a femme or a dom? I don't know. The date. Huh? She ain't like if I was to date a girl, it would be another girly girl that's really a bad bitch. Like, yeah, I was I was just saying I could see that. Yeah, I'm not about to date no fucking fucking just like you just threw whatever the fuck on. Like, I care about how I look, how I present myself, because besides some days when I don't, and I be mad as hell because I see everybody and their mama. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But I like men, so it'll never be a girl. So if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Only in your dreams. So your next dude, um, you said you your, your third body, your third boyfriend. My man. Third man. Mm-hmm. 
what do you what are you looking for? What do you what do you want? Someone who's a provider, okay? When you hear me, like a provider. So like you can take care of it. Someone who's going to help me ensure my goals are met. And I don't know, just be that nigga. That's it? Yeah. A good personality. I got someone in mind. You want me to put them on? No STDs. I got someone in mind. Still? Yeah. You want me to put y'all on? They got a bunch of kids. No kids. None? Nope. What the fuck wrong with him? Nothing. He just handling his business. Oh, my God. He ain't worried about the bullshit. Where he, he stayed with his mama? Nope. Got his own crib. His mama call him every day? Every other day, I guess. I mean, why not speak to your mom? Yeah, speak to her, but do she, like, ask in detail what you doing and stuff? Because that's a big deal. I'm not talking to no, a man who it's, mama it's do not that. A, it's not a mama's boy, if that's what you're asking. Okay, yeah. No more, no mama's boys. Yeah. He's not a mama's boy. Oh, okay. Where he at? Call him. It's me. Oh. <laughs> let's, let's go out. Go uh, out? Yeah. For real? Yeah. All right. We got to split the bill in half, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's just shit. joking. Yeah. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Then maybe I'll be the one out the fucking door and gone in the car. Oh, Your the, ass the, would be the, left. The, the, the half bill part, I'm joking. I, I would never take a woman out and expect her to pay half on a first date. That's crazy. I know, man. And man, I told this one man because it wasn't going well and I had ordered a big ass steak, my mm -hmm. shit, drinks and all that. I'm like, do you want me to pay for that? He was like, no, I got it. I'm like, are you sure? Because I'm not fucking you. Mm -hmm. What'd he say? He paid for it and he thought he was going to change my mind. I said, I said, thank you. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, was the date at least a good time? Like, did y'all talk and whatnot? No, like, I think he was nervous because let's be honest, I really was out of his league, but I just wanted the fucking free food. What made you out of his league? I'm just, he ain't never had nobody like me. You could tell off of his vibe, off of his appearance, yeah. both? He had like a... I don't want to be mean, because what if you see this? It's cool. I mean... No, you ever see those vi those movies where the people talk about them and the other person here, and then they all sad and shit? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then don't do that. <laughs> if we went on a date, we would have a good time. Yeah, I'll yeah. boss your ass around. No, you wouldn't. Yes, the fuck I would. No, you wouldn't. I'm going to fucking voodoo your ass. <laughs> you, you wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, the dudes that you're used to dealing with, I I know them. I know the type of dudes Child. you're used to dealing with. Like it's it's nothing. I know you you are pretty and you got the pretty vibe. You yeah. say you're pretty and all that, that shit. Damn pretty. But you're a dime a dozen. Yeah. That mean it's a bunch of me. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. He just really hurt my feelings right there because it's not. It's only one me. He I just... mean I ain't mean to hurt your feelings, but I'm just calling it how it is, baby right. girl. Like you couldn't you couldn't boss me around. Like I can't. I've been around. But the ain't nobody plenty. gonna be just like me. You're gonna come back. You're gonna be with that girl, be un uh, irritable uh -huh. because you looking at me I done popped up on your fucking timeline you like mm -hmm. god damn I miss her mm -hmm. and then now you calling me and I'm like what mm -hmm. I'm out and about ain't you with that bitch and you gonna mm -hmm. be like yeah and then you gonna be trying to tell me you gonna leave her and all that shit but I would literally fucking never that's the thing child please like ever child please that's you don't it. know to you try <laughs> oh no, I'd have, I'd have had some snappy nappy. Come on now, mm -hmm. I'd have, I'd have had some voodoo shit. Believe me, but I still would never. But God bless the dudes that you know. what I'm saying, do treat you like that because you know they're the ones that you know keeping you going, and that's what you need. That's what's up. Yep, I mm -hmm. applaud it. Applaud them because mm -hmm. it's actually real life. If you're trying to act like this is a IMVU situation, I don't even know what that is. You you played that game. I am VU. What the hell is that? The little community chat where you made your own little virtual doll See, and talk to people I've and play games. Never done virtual anything. So what did you do when you was young? You watched SpongeBob and stuff. Did I watch SpongeBob as a kid? Yes, but that's a Raven. Yes, I watched that's a Raven as a kid. Okay. What Rashida say? 
all of them, put it on to make them want to marry me. I done been, yeah. I got to I gotta hear this from a dude that you've been with. Because a woman can sit up here all day and say that she got this and, and that. I'm, and I, I she got that snap back and she got that put them out in 30. Any, any chick can say that. I have to hear it from not the horse's mouth. But the whatever the fuck the other part of the saying is. So collect call or next time dude calls you from prison, record it and ask him like, hey, like, is my shit really like that? Because yeah. I, I have to hear it from someone else's mouth. Yeah. That's the only way I believe it. Because you know, I can attest to I can attest to a few women off the top of my head that they shit is fucking official. Let me tell you this. They should will have a nigga walking 20 miles butt naked in a snowstorm just to get a sniff of it. You know I know some the, shits like that. You want to know... What's the best? It's not. It's not just hearing from it. It's actually getting it in on your own first account. Yeah, that's always the best. I don't like to take other people's word for stuff. I like to try it out myself. I've never been a thing of a follower. Well, listen. Only one of us has been talking about how good our genitalia is. Yeah, I know it is. So. I don't never, I usually, I'm a person that I I know when to speak, so I won't speak on things that I don't think are true. So you won't hear me talking about something and then come to find out, you're like, that was all wrong. No, when I do speak about something, I know 100% mm-hmm. that shit is true. And what I'm saying is it really is great and amazing. Mm-hmm. And it's 100%, not 99.9, mm-hmm. because that one piece is a doubt in paternity. I'm talking about 100% mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. Nice. And he'll be able to review it in a while. Me? No, I'm just kidding. You gonna let me review it? <laughs> I can. I will no, leave it on I don't want too. Your, your girlfriend that you was talking about mad at me. I ain't got no girlfriend. Listen, lady, I don't want no problems. I don't got no girlfriend. Oh, I you talking about fight. who I'm talking to? Yeah. It ain't exclusive. But I don't, I don't want to fight because I'm too cute for that shit. And I don't fight. I she don't security. fight either. I'm, 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 I'm not exclusive with anybody. Mm. And it's a don't ask, don't tell type thing. You look like one of those. He can't commit, ladies. Nope. So don't even don't But I'm even honest worry. with it. I'm honest with it. Can't commit at the moment. I've said it on plenty of occasions. At the moment, nah. I'm not there yet in life. Does that make me a bad person? He's never going to be there. I might. He's going to be hoping that you sit there and wait. Whoever yeah. you are, special lady, and then go and find that next man like Cassie did with Diddy. Listen to her. Because he ain't, he'll be a good side nigga. Make him your side nigga. Listen to her. I'm a great side nigga, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I'll put myself in a position to be a side nigga, but then they want the serious. They want to like take it to another level. And I'm like, I told you, that's not my thing, though. Make him a side nigga. So can you fault me? Listen, I'm perfectly fine with that. Yeah. Side niggas get the best benefits. And then, <laughs> and then ruin all his chances to get other pussy. How and why? Uh-huh. Put if sugar si- in that girl's tank. But that's if I'm the side nigga, then why are you beefing with me? I'm the side nigga because you. It shouldn't even. It shouldn't even be on that level. Mm. See, you fucking the game up. I do what I want. If I'm your side nigga, why are you treating me as if I'm your main nigga? Because I do what I want. That's main nigga issues. If I'm your side nigga, I'm out the way. I'm delivering dick. That's what you. Every here and there, we'll get food and drinks, and that's that. Putting sugar in the tank, that's boyfriend problems. I'm your side, mm-hmm. nigga. You fucking the game up. No. You are. You fucking it up. Damn. Oh, we on YouTube. Don't, don't. Oh, my God, yes. Because TikTok banned my account, so I couldn't go live, and then it shadow banned me. I created a new one. I'm yeah, most titties I'm on it? Or? 250. Yeah. My titties is a part of me. They're going to be out everywhere. Instagram, I can't even monetize. So all that, like, I get... Views on top of views and shit, but I can't monetize because they said that I had my titties out, and I got six six posts I gotta delete, and those are the posts that are really trending that are booming. Yeah, so they like you gotta delete that. I had to change my Instagram name, which was um, unapologetically living my life. Fuck your opinion. That shit's been there for like months. Why are y'all saying something? They just caught a hold of it. But I thought it was a no bully zone type shit. So I'm like, Instagram, y'all really be fucking yeah, they're, tripping. They're pretty strict. But yeah, I heard you too where the money at. So I hope you get what size a million, are they? In the million. Guess. Triple D. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm a titty boy. I'm a vicious titty boy. You are. What you yeah. be doing? Putting your head in between them? Brumsky. Hell yeah. You be doing all that? So what is your nah, sex I, I like? Nah, I suck titties. Because I'm just trying to imagine. You look like you just like to get to the point and that's it. You don't do all that extra. Yeah. Grinding and kissing on the leg and shit. Yeah. You know, I had a man <laughs> wash me in the shower. He washed my vagina. So he did that little, uh, yeah. got in there. And then he also got my butt. I'm not washing your ass. <laughs> I'm not washing your ass. You, you wash my ass. Like, what are we doing? And, and wet it. Freak, I'll be rinsed it off. Freak ass nigga. He probably put the wash rack in his mouth afterwards. No, he? he didn't. Shut the hell up. Mm-hmm. And it rinsed off. It went down the drain. Did y'all, y'all have Did y'all have sex? Nope. So he did all that and didn't get the ass. Exactly. I'm really like that. And you know what? Niggas be so mad at me, calling me all kinds of names. Like, you fucking bitch. I'm like, you thought you was going to do all that and get it? If I let you near me, then you lucky. Wait, did you give him head? With no dusties. No. How many men have you gave head to? Two. So don't. Oh, I think you said that earlier. Yeah. Um, but to answer your question, yes, I'm very basic and boring. And then, I'm very, what you like from the from the back, or you want to look her in the eye like, uh. I'm I'm so uh, basic. I don't uh, do any foreplay. I don't finger. I just so hit, what you know. You just have I your just, dick out ready. I, like, I just come whip on. my dick out, hit a girl from the back, and that's it. So how do they know? Like, is she just chilling on the couch? Do you just like take your you just I just take whip your out. pants off? Yep, I just whip out and tell her to bend over. What and is she like? The good part of the movie on that's, right now. That's Hold my on. sex. That's that's how I get down. Oh my god! Right in the couch. That's you I'm can't even take her to the bedroom. Wherever I'm at, her. I just whip out and hit it from the back. Do you have naked sex? Nope. Oh hell no! I don't play I that. I keep my shirt on. I keep my shoes on. I just pull my pants down to my knees, hit it from the back, up. and that's it. No, I don't do that. You got me fucked up. Mm-hmm. I'm that damn pretty. <laughs> you gonna lay your motherfucking ass right here and be all fucking satisfied? And oh like, this is shit! The greatest place on fucking earth. I cracked myself up. Right. That's why I said a lot of men can't handle me. I told you, you need two hands to oh, handle I, I, me, I, I, and I, a lot of them are only able to use one hand at a time. Okay. But um no, for me right. pers mm-hmm. for me personally, yep. se- sex should be an adventure. It should. It should be an adventure. I like to oh, I like to discover. Um I treat it like a like a like a what's some things called? Mystery map of a woman's body. Yeah, you should like I really wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like really discover like every put, part of a body. You put your you put toes in your mouth? I do. <sighs> yeah. You wanna know something I do now with my baby mama? What'd you do? I ain't got no babies, but she my baby mama. At least at the moment, we'll see by the time this is gonna drop in like three weeks. So again, we'll see. But she she, she, she might ha- have babies by then. Nah. Y'all been trying, or well, you just had sex with her real nasty and nutted in her, and you waiting to see if she. Pregnant. Nah, I'm not gonna get her pregnant, but she has beauty marks all over her body. Mm-hmm. So like one thing like that I do is like try to find every beauty mark on her and kiss all of them. But if you done had her body multiple times, you should have already explored and found all of them. And yeah, you know I might have yet. seen one, but then act like I've seen it for the first time the next time and kiss it just because. Oh, you like to role play? Yeah. Oh. Like, what are we doing? Like this, again, like I said, I don't, when I was younger, it would be bust down just to hit and that's all. <laughs> yeah. Like now I really, it, I treat it like an adventure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do, I, I do too. I'm one of them. Oh, people been talking and shit. Do you like toes in your mouth? Could I put I my? You. I ain't putting no nigga toes in my mouth. I can't put my toes in your mouth. Hell no! What the fuck? That's girl shit. Girls put toes in men's mouth. I had a chick put my toe in her mouth. Mm-mm, not doing that. You lick a man's nipple? A little bit. Yeah. And not too long now. I'm just I'm just gonna do it yeah. for like maybe a couple of like a. Uh, and that's yeah, it. That, that's 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 nice. just to get it hard and put my little hand on it and be like, yeah, ready for take I go off. Straight down there, I'm telling you, Rottweiler. Yeah, what was that? Um, don't be a uh, on South Central. Remember when they was in the um in the uh, Jeep in the in the mail truck in the mail truck going yeah. crazy. That's me. That's you. I get crazy. I I get crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. I get. Well, listen, um, we about to get out of here. All so, right, y'all. Before we do, uh, do you have any um, <laughs> last words, messages, whatever may have you for those tuning in? A message? No, just follow me on that damn pretty Instagram, that damn pretty uh, t- 
TikTok or Damn That's Pretty. And that damn pretty on YouTube, but I don't really got much on there. But things I'm doing, like little skits and stuff, I'm gonna put on there. Content is king today, pretty. You should yeah. run it up. I am. Because mm-hmm. people love living things through people. They like, because they feel like they don't have the opportunity to do it themselves. Mm-hmm. So they like to watch other people do shit. It could be something simple like what we're doing right now. It's somebody watching us that wish they was doing what we're doing. And the only thing they gotta do is get up and what? Do, do it. it. Literally. Do it. Yeah. You heard it from me and Day. That's the only thing that got got me. I just said fuck it and did it. Started in my my mom's basement. <sighs> fuck. And this is great, y'all. This is amazing. I love the way it's set up. I feel like I'm in a whole nother place. It's beautiful. I be wondering what keeps me going with this shit, you know? Cause this is what you was meant to do. This is for you. That gave me goosebumps. Oh, because it is. I do be having self-doubt. I'm not even going to say sometimes. I'm going to say a lot of times. <laughs> well, I hope the ghost of self-doubt come and have sex with you and take that doubt out of you. The doubt would be the come, take it out of you. Because mm. you swear I done had sex with a ghost, so I hope you have your first night tonight. I would fuck the shit out of a ghost. What you going to do, like... I'm you gonna her turn over. her around? I'm definitely bending her over. What if you turn around and she look ugly as shit? Like I said, I'm gonna bend her over. Remember <laughs> on Scary Movie 2 with the bag uh-huh. over the Are you gonna ghost put a face? condom on? With a ghost? Yeah. Was it gonna get pregnant? I don't know. You might get an STD. From a ghost? Yeah. They... Then, then that's not a ghost I need to be fucking. But you... So... How would you know? They a The ghost... With an STD? Oh, yeah. I guess you could see through the ghost so you could see the bumps on the vagina. Oh God! If it's or the green, it'll oh have like God. a green, yeah, green no. stuff in the vagina because you the can chlamydia? see through it. No, then I'm not. Oh nah, Lord! Nah. Imagine I, that. That's that's crazy for a ghost to have an STD. But, but I think would, about it: people who die and they have a I'd STD. I be humping in my sleep. I do be humping in my sleep, but it don't be ghosts. Be humping. It be my dreams, just humping. I've been doing that since I was like a kid. Yeah, yo. Be, oh my God! I remember I was humping. You remember when you was a kid and laying on them cots? Uh huh. My friend, my best friend and her brother, they was laughing at me because I was humping the um the little rail, the side rail. Yeah. And I didn't care because I wanted to get myself off. And right. I was letting them think that I wasn't up, but I was yeah. still doing it. You was a horny little fucker. <laughs> I was horny. Oh. Good Lord. I was too. Playing house. Yeah, I used to hump pillows. At the school. That's crazy. Yeah. Used to hump other... Kid. Yeah, we had a playground. My mom and them, they donated a playground house. Like, you know, the little houses? Yeah. Yeah. So we used to, I'm like, because it's the house I used to have in my house. You used to hump other little girls when you were a little girl? No. <laughs> yeah. Not girls. Boys? Were, yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm sure. Hump boys get humped by boys? I don't remember. Yeah, if I was No, kid, I was always on the top. Really? Yeah. What, you, you? I wasn't that I big. I was a humper. I remember, I remember, I remember I was at a party when I was like 10 years old. 10? And it was like a babysitter there and like we were all humping her. <laughs> and she didn't know? Hell yeah, she knew. She was older. Wait she, a minute. She fuck thought it was like funny. <laughs> Wait a minute. She thought it was like funny. She, she was, was like letting y'all come off we, of her. We weren't coming because we didn't. We pre-coming. Pre-coming maybe, but. We That's still coming. coming. We weren't, no. And she just sitting there letting y'all come. She was like laughing. Like, yeah, we was but you her. probably, yeah, you are cute if you look like that. Yeah, I was a humper. So if she's saying this, he might let you fuck now. Would you fuck her? Hell yeah. I um well no, nah, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna put my shit out there. But mm-hmm. I've I've received um like I was attracted towards like women at a young age. I'll just say that. Cause I mean I've always looked the same. I just have a bald head and a beard now. That's the only difference. But anyway, this was supposed to be the outro. This was great. I truly appreciate you for pulling up pretty, that damn pretty. Um, you got your last words off. I'll tag <laughs> her, you know, everything in yes. the in the link, you know, all of her um handles and whatnot. That way you can find her. For those of y'all that are tuning in, I truly appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the bottom of my heart. Make sure that you hit like and subscribe and leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't get a, get a lot of comments. I really like seeing comments from y'all. That way I can engage. You know, with y'all and kind of, you know, establish some type of relationship or community. But regardless, I thank y'all for tuning in. 
make sure that you subscribe that we subscribe that we can be kept up to date on every new episode but until then make sure that y'all stay safe stay sane because it is crazy out here but you got to stay afloat but most importantly stay blessed peace bye y'all can you get out your phone and say bye to them correctly, please? Yes, I'm so sorry. Bye, y'all. Jesus. It's they spent, bad damn pretty. They done spent the last hour and a half listening to us. The least you could say is goodbye. You know that's that damn pretty. And that's the end. That's it.